What's up everyone, Colby Cheese here, welcome back. I know that the series is over, we've already beat the game, but we have some stuff left to do here. We're gonna actually go on to some optional areas. Now, you'll notice I'm in the Black Gulch. You can actually start there and drop down off the side where you saw me drop down. There is a door, we can't actually open that door yet. What we're doing now today though is the Dark Diver Covenant and it involves going through a couple of fairly difficult areas and then finally fighting an, uh, a secret boss. So when you come down here, you're actually going to fight a couple of giants. We need to finish off these giants. The easiest thing to do is just run into one of these little rooms back here and they can't get to you because they're too damn big. Stupid giants. And you can use some ranged abilities. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot them with my bow a couple of times. Just be patient, they have quite a lot of life. If you wanna go fight the melee, <laughs> be my guess, but they hit very hard, especially when there's two of them, it's a lot harder to dodge, so. So again, choose your strategy. They're pretty easy if you have a couple of spells or whatever. So, yeah, just gotta sit here and grind away. 128, 128, 120. <laughs> Takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm actually only using my iron arrows. You'll notice that uh, I actually filmed this before I picked up all my lightning arrows and my poison arrows, otherwise this would be way easier. If you have some poison arrows, this can go much quicker. But I, I recorded this a long time ago and I was just waiting to show you guys the full footage until I had actually finished the entire series. So the rest, after I finish these guys off, the rest of the series you'll see I have my uh, fully upgraded character. So here we are, just fighting these guys. Let me just fast forward as I kill everything. Once you kill this last guy off, you get a soul of a giant which we need to accumulate, by the way. We've accumulated quite a few of them from the um, from the memories already, you get three. You're gonna get one more from this guy here, and then finally you'll get a fifth one once we kill the ancient dragon. You can watch my boss kill series for help on that. And after you have those five, you can do full damage to King Vendrick, and that'll be our final uh, boss kill series, is King Vendrick. But anyways, this is not about boss kills, this is about doing the Dark Diver Covenant. So once you get your forgotten key, from this giant, you're just gonna need to go ahead and skip back to the bonfire and then roll right on over here where this door was. Open up the door, use that forgotten key. Now, before you can actually go through and do all of these dungeons, you need to talk to Dark Diver Grandal in all three locations. So let me show you those three locations um, at the end of this video. Well, you'll see them as the video goes on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go, th I've already talked to him in all three locations. So what I'm gonna do, is actually uh, go into the dungeon and we're gonna do the dungeon so you can see how to do the dungeons and as the video goes on you'll see the location of all three eventually so dark chasm of old this place or chas what is it chasm chasm I don't know anyhow this place is really difficult you need to watch your step it's very dark there's a lot of places where you can actually fall down to your death and you can get invaded here which um, it's actually encouraged to invade people here because I think you get like human effigies oh by the way if you die here, you actually have to use a human effigy in order to get back. So if you run out of human effigies, you're kind of screwed. You really need to be careful and play it safe. I would say, well, for me, my strategy is poisoning. Of course, I am a dex user, so that's the idea. But poison works really well here. You can use poison daggers, you know, throwing daggers if you are not a dex build. Um, I'm just using the poison arrows as once they get poisoned, it actually makes it a little bit safe for me to kind of run around and wait for them. Otherwise, go ahead and use whatever highest damaging ability you can get and take these guys out as fast as possible. Play safe, run backwards, try not to run into all these guys. You actually have to kill them all in order to finish off the zone. So you can't, this is one of the areas where you cannot actually run through everything. Unless I'm wrong, you can correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so this little thing right here is annoying. You have to kill him, he shoots lots of spells at you, but it's not too bad, they're actually really weak. They're very, very, very weak. You can take them out very quickly. They're not like the rest of the enemies in the zone that are um, trying to be copies of actual players. So each one of these zones, you need to have a flame butterfly. That's the other thing. So I would recommend if you're low on flame butterflies to not actually use it until you kill all the enemies off, just in case you die. Otherwise, go ahead and light this up with your flame butterfly. That is the important part there, in order to finish the zone. So once that is lit up, we're gonna go ahead and run through here. I think there's one more enemy, one or two more enemies. And uh, yeah, we're gonna drop down right here. Okay, yeah, there's actually a couple more guys. So we'll finish this one up. Little caster, pretty easy. Watch out for that pyro. Uh, you'll see where I died earlier, yep. And that's pretty annoying, oh shoot. So once again, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna try and get to the point to where I can funnel these guys 
into an area that is more tactically viable. So this dude is like dual wielding some giant demon maces. I think this is the demon maces. I don't know. They remind me of the mace that you get if you actually kill the uh, that uh, that big demon from Dark Souls 1. That looks the same exact graphic to me. For here, I'm just going to do the same tactic with the poison arrows as much as possible. See if I can get them poisoned up. And, yep, he's taking the damage. He's going to die. So go ahead and finish him off real quickly. He can't even hit me there with the pyro, so that was a perfect spot to stand. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing to this guy right here. In fact, uh, well, never mind. I was going to I was going to run up and stab him, but then I was like, well, he's got heavy armor. He's also got a slow roll, so it's very easy to, to dodge him out. Now, if you, uh, if you don't want to use ranged attacks, then you can just run up and fight him any way you would be used to normally, but I just like to play it safe because running back through here and wasting human effigies is not my idea of fun. And once you kill everything off, you can drop down into this fog gate here, boop, and you're done. The next area is going to be in Castle Drain Lake. You, of course, have to kill one of these statues. It opens up that door, and boom, you drop down. This is the um, bonfire on the right. So this will be location number two. And once again, you need three locations before you can actually go in there. And you also have to use yeah. human effigies in order to open up the dungeon. So I'm going to go ahead and give Grendel my human effigy. And we're going to roll right into the dungeon number two. Of course, I'm calling it dungeon number two because I am talking about it a second. But you can do these in any order that you would like. You don't actually have to do them in the order that I'm showing you. You just have to do all three of them, period, in order to unlock the final boss, as well as unlock the rewards for completing the covenant. Now, if you are a faith user, this is definitely something you want to do because you get the dragon chime, which is the best faith chime from what I understand. So, you also get a pretty cool looking armor. It's not like really strong or anything, but it's the that yellow armor from the Pyromancer guy that you may remember from Dark Souls 1. So this guy, I just tried to do as much damage by backstabbing him. He is really difficult. It's basically Havel. He's got all of Havel's equipment. So he's very tanky and he can knock you off very easily. There's there's like a spot to get knocked off on both sides there. You have to be really careful. If you try and run past him, you're going to aggro other guys. So the best thing to do is not aggro anyone else. If you have a really strong, like, great shield, it should make it a little bit easier for you to actually fight that. Ooh, that was lucky. I was in the backstab animation, so I was invulnerable to that that soul missile. Um, let's see. Where is that guy shooting from? I mean, oh, yeah. So let's come back around this way. Once again, these guys are pretty damn weak, so I'm going to finish him off. But that, that's pretty much the hardest part of this particular zone is fighting that Havel dude. It, once you take out the Havel guy, the rest of them are not so terribly bad. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, I didn't even finish him off. What am I doing? All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and light this bad boy up. I'm going to use our torch. And I should have put this in the hot bar, but whatever. I'm only going to use it a couple of times anyways. That is if I don't die a lot. No problem. All right, let's go ahead and drink up. So we just need to finish off the enemies and find the fog gate once again. Before we head into the third zone. So let's go ahead and roll right past this bro. Oh yeah! I didn't know I could backstab him. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Like I said, they're super squishy. He only had like freaking 600 health or something. Okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta be careful about that. That's the other thing. There's, uh, there's a couple of waterfalls that will put out your torch. Which is a sad day indeed. But the cool thing is that once you run through those, you will be um, resistant to fire. So if there's any of those pyro guys, they should do less damage to you if you get hit. But, you know, there's always the uh, there's always the thing where, oh, let's just not get hit. <laughs> All right, so here's... Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't really see that hole right away. Make sure you don't run straight up to that guy. He's kind of being sneaky. So this dude will bleed you out if he hits you a lot. He's got these little curved swords. As you can see, it does a lot of bleed damage, so be very careful. What I'm going to do is poison him out with my rapier this time, because it stun locks him every time I hit him. He doesn't have a lot of heavy armor, so he has really no poise. Boop, boop. See, every time I hit him, one attack, just boop, 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 pokey, poke, poke. And so if you have, like, a spear or something, this is an effective strategy to use. Just poke, poke, poke until he's dead. GG. You were done. I think that that is it. Let's go ahead and roll into the fog gate, and we're going to go to location number three. So location number three, we're going to head to the Shaded Woods. Once you get there, you can run past all these enemies, because who cares? You probably already fought this place plenty of times. And so, again, the final location, you're going to be dropping down right there, just a little hole in the floor. 
and go ahead and talk to Grandal, give him the effigy, and let's head into the last dark chasm of old. So this place right here is a little weird. There's a guy with a bow that shoots at you, and you have another Power Mancer dude to deal with, so make sure to stay on the left side. Don't fall down that hole. I'm going to try and pull them out one at a time, but I don't think that's possible. Alright, so as you can see, there's three guys in that room. If I run straight in there, I'm definitely going to have to fight all three at once. I'll pull them all. In fact, I did pull them all. Okay, so I guess there's no real way around it. You're going to pull all three of them. Either way, you don't want to fight them in that room because that room's a little bit dangerous. Let's run up here. I'm going to get the high ground advantage. And I've already taken like half his health because i got a poison on him. So we'll see if I can finish him off that way. Woo! Hey, just try to stab me with it. No! No heals for you! Okay, so <laughs> we'll get the backstab off of that dude. And uh, I don't know. I still have this ring on. Let me go ahead and take that off. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put on the old Leo ring. Make sure I get good backstabs off. As if I didn't do enough to... Oh, look, he's actually blocking the entrance. So, oh, shit. Well, that's not good. He's actually got a bow. So that guy's shooting... Oh, stop it. Okay. Well, I thought it was an advantage, but it's not. But either way, we killed the mage, and there's one remaining. He's going to shoot bows at me. This is a bow battle. Battle of the snipers. Okay, let's see if I can just avoid getting hit. I don't like getting hit. Uh, all right. Oh, and juked. Oh, no. What? I thought... Okay, I thought I was going to get backstab, but no big deal. Oh, this dude's got the, um... Oh, no, 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 no! Okay. <laughs> no backstab for you, sir. Uh, I thought he... Okay, he's got the same helm from Lucid Hill. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and light up the torch. We actually have, I think, one or two more enemies down this elevator. Wait, is there anything over here? No. Okay, that is a troll. Obviously, it's not a illusionary wall. <laughs> All right, let's light up the torch, or whatever this thing is. Big pot of oil. And down the elevator we go. Of course, we have to activate it first. Tink, 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 tink. You know, if you actually invade people in here, you are a black phantom as well. But the thing that sucks is that the other NPCs will fight you too. So it's, it's a little bit more difficult to invade people because you're both vulnerable to getting killed. All right, let's finish out this last guy so we can go through the fog gate. Now, since this is the third... Chasm. Once we've completed all three, and we drop down into the fall gate area, that's when you get to fight the final secret boss of the game, which is pretty difficult and a lot of fun to fight. In fact, so let's finish this guy off. Of course, if you guys want to see how to beat the boss, you know my style by now. I will split it off into a separate video, so that that way you don't, um, you know, you don't have to have any spoilers. But anyways. If you guys want to see how to do that, watch my boss kill series. Otherwise, that's the last video. That's it. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching this series so far. I'll see you around for my next one.